Hello there. This is where the fun begins. Hey there guys, unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have a new update for the Ahsoka Disney Plus show as another huge Rebels cameo might have just got revealed. This year being said, let's go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we are going to be taking a read from the Direct article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. There are spoilers ahead here. I mean, it's not confirmed, of course, or anything like that, but it is rumored out there and it can be a kind of speculated upon that this is what we would be seeing for the Ahsoka show into the regards of cameos and character appearances. So if you aren't looking for any of that, go ahead and click off the video now. I have plenty of other videos here on the channel for you to check out as well. This has to do with recent LEGO Star Wars news and leaks apparently here as well. I do have a LEGO channel. I'll have it linked in the description down below. Anyway, as the article reads, new Star Wars merchandise may have revealed one of the biggest Star Wars Rebels cameos intended for Lucasfilm's Ahsoka series on Disney Plus. The Ahsoka show is going to be the next big Star Wars Disney Plus show after the third season of The Mandalorian wraps up, as the show will be coming out in only just a couple of months. And despite being titled Just Ahsoka, the Rose Zero Dawson-led series appears to be something of a Star Wars Rebels live-action spin-off sequel, as characters from that Lucasfilm animated series Star Wars Rebels are also going to be confirmed to appear. And so while audiences fully expected Season 3 of The Mandalorian to introduce a few of those Star Wars Rebels heroes into the live action Mandoverse here, as Chapter 21 of the series just did with Zeb, a significant Ahsoka cameo was just introduced through a new Lego set instead of Disney Plus as a Lego leak slash rumor, as I had mentioned earlier, I have a Lego channel linked in the description down below. And so, while the original trilogy had the Millennium Falcon, the Star Wars Rebels animated series has the Ghost, and soon so will Ahsoka. And in advance, of the Disney Plus series premiere, an upcoming LEGO set of The Ghost based on the Ahsoka series has been leaked slash rumored around, but the ship itself isn't so much of a spoiler. It's the set's minifigures that are a spoiler. It's more of the minifigures that are going to be included into the set that spoil a major cameo for the show. Promobricks.com had recently shared that LEGO set number 75357's description in which addition to being described as Harris and Dula's ship, also the Ghost, includes the following five minifigures Hera, Chopper, Query, a Mon Calamari mechanic from Star Wars Rebels, an unknown male character with potentially dark skin, is what the website says, so maybe a new character being introduced, and then Hera's son, Jason. Jason Sandula is the son of Star Wars Rebels pilot Hera Sandula and the late night Jedi Kanan Jarrus. As we see towards the end of the Star Wars Rebels animated show in its final season, Hera Syndulla and Kanan Jarrus actually have a kid together before Kanan Jarrus' death. He made his Star Wars premiere in the Star Wars Rebels epilogue, where Sabine Wren described him as an born to fly, just like his mother, but possibly teasing his connection to the Force also, saying that, and well, we all know what his father was like, of course Kanan being a Jedi. And this is something I hadn't really thought about all that much, of course as I had mentioned once again, I talked about this on my LEGO channel in these LEGO leaks here, and it kind of glossed over my head. It just went over my head, honestly. Having Jason included into the set here would make for another Force user, potential Jedi, to be appearing in the Ahsoka show. And also for the fact that Jason's going to be a little bit more grown up here by the time we see him in the Ahsoka show as well, maybe closer to a Padawan or a youngling. He'll actually have, like, developed force abilities and maybe have a lightsaber or something along those lines. If, that is, if Ahsoka has spent time with him and, and Hera as well in helping him train in the force. And I'd also like to throw out the possibility in that theory as of what if Jason goes off to train with Luke Skywalker at his Jedi Academy. I definitely feel like that is something that's very possible is that Kanan Jarrus' son, uh, Jason, would go off and train with Luke Skywalker. There's a 30-year gap between the Mandoverse and by the time we get to the Force Awakens of where we, of course, would see the collapse of Luke Skywalker's uh, Jedi a a temple there from Kylo Ren and coming to destroy it and everything like that. But I don't really think that means anything bad for Jason, seeing that he would die or something like that. He would go there, get his Jedi training for like a solid 20 years, and then and then leave. So even if and when we see the Mandoverse go beyond the sequel trilogy with Grogu, Baby Yoda, there's still that huge possibility we could see Jason Syndulla. But that's something that's just so far out. We know that Jason's 
Prince Sundula has green hair, a reflection of his mother's uh, skin, and blue eyes, just like his father's. Actress Mary Elizabeth Winston is expected to play his mother, Harris Sundula, in the live-action series. And so, laying this out canically, like, on the timeline and everything like that, since The Mandalorian takes place nine years after the events of A New Hope and Star Wars Rebels occurred right before the original trilogy, Jason Sundula is still growing up during the time of Ahsoka. As I had mentioned, he'd be probably closer to a youngling or a Padawan's age, and with his abilities in the Force, that is if he had trained with Ahsoka or maybe Luke Skywalker. And however, given the reports of Ahsoka being a non-linear story, it's hard to know exactly what age audiences will see Jason on Disney+. Plus. Regardless, his presence in the show is huge for Star Wars Rebels fans, and could be integral for Ezra Bridger's story as well. After all, Ezra was trained by Jason's father, and Jason is strong with the Force. Ezra may do the same for Kane and Son, and we could see Ezra actually train Jason. And if so, that means that the Mandoverse is home to two young younglings and Padawans, the other being Grogu, and one being Jason. While the extent of his role and who he will be playing in the Ghost's youngest crew member is unknown, answers are likely to be revealed, fingers crossed, at Star Wars Celebration beginning on Friday, April 7th. We'll be talking and covering all of it, all the new announcements and Star Wars news from Star Wars Celebration here on the channel, so hit that subscribe button and join us here today. And hopefully fans will also learn more about who this Lego set's dark-skinned male character could be as well. I heard another rumor in theory going around that this character included in this Lego set could actually be an Inquisitor of some sort, or a Dark Force user, which is something very interesting to ponder about. And from there, that is where the article concludes, and as I had to mention at the beginning of this video, I have this article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Still honestly very heavy on the theory and the idea that we'll have some type of, fingers crossed, bo bottle cap episode here essentially. Maybe in next week's Mando episode I think would be kind of like the last chance to maybe do something like this, or maybe we could see it towards the end of the finale for season 3 of The Mandalorian, but somewhere of where we're able to get a little bit more screen time with the Ghost Crew and with the Star Wars characters from the Star Wars Rebels show that would be appearing in the Ahsoka show coming out later uh, this year here. We already got Zeb in live action and that officially like revealed in The Mandalorian Season 3. Of course, we've had other looks at the Star Wars Rebels uh, Ghost Crew from last year's Star, Star Wars Celebration actually as they had actually shown the teaser trailer for the Ahsoka show only at Star Wars Celebration to only attendees last year. Of course, it had leaked around online. I have it linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyway, just the thought of having Jason Sindula is something I hadn't really thought about having him come to the Mandoverse and having him in live action and everything like that. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Of course, this has been Unofficial Star Wars. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.